Today I'm going to explain Mandel's first law of segregation. So Mandel's first law of segregation. Human cells contain 23 pair of chromosome. During meiosis, this 23 pair of chromosome become ultimate 23 chromosome. I will explain two pair of chromosome for simplicity. So what event occurs during meiosis and what is law of segregation events uh, in cellular milieu? I will explain this very briefly. Let us consider a cell having two chromosome pairs. This is chromosome 1, which have pair with yellow, and this is chromosome 2, which is also pair with this yellow color. Here, yellow color is mother and the blue color is father during meiosis the first event is duplication so each chromosome will be duplicated let's look what happened during duplication so this blue will become two chromosome what we call sister chromatid and this yellow also become two sister chromatid and the same for chromosome 2 so this duplicated form is called sister chromatid this two is called sister chromatid sister chromatid and these two all together called homologous chromosome homologous chromosome well during first mitotic division these homologous chromosome become separated so if I draw a line here, the separation will be something like this. Okay. And this. So take the same color. So it will contain only blue color chromosome. And it will contain only yellow color chromosome. Chromosome 1 and chromosome 2. See here what happened. This parental chromosome become exactly separated to this this chromosome. The cell is not yet separated, but I'm showing here as looks like cell is separated. Don't consider the cell is separated. Here this chromosome is only separated. Ultimately, what will convert? And then sister chromatid will be separated just in this line and this is separated this line so from this you will get two and from this you will get more two so one two three four so the blue become Two one two and the yellow also become two one two one two so see what happens this sister chromatid become n format I think what is haploid or gamut what is it so see what happened these two are parental and these two are also parental one is from father one is from mother exactly actually so they don't mixed up 
So air segregation means they exactly separated what was their father and what was their mother. Consider the, the first one. First one was blue for father and yellow for mother. So here ultimately you find exactly pure father and mother chromatic or mother chromosome. That's why it's called only segregation. And that is what manages process of segregation. According to this rule, you'll find 50% population exactly like father and 50% gamete exactly like mother. So gamete is the appropriate word rather than population. Okay. Let us now consider Mandel's second law. Second law. What is called independent assortment? Independent assortment. So this term is, a, is actually explain what is happened during second law. So this is nothing but this separation. I mean, homologous separation. Homologous. Homologous separation. Separation that is sister. Sister chromatic separation. This is called meiosis event one. This is called meiosis event two. So during meiosis event one, this can be from something like that. If I draw the same thing here. I mean a duplicate chromosome. Here is mother and blue is father as usual. So now what is independent assortment? In independent assortment it is said that these chromosome separation chromosome one may contain mother counterpart of chromosome 2 or even father counterpart so this one can go with this one the same this one can go with this one so what will happen see the difference what is happening here So father blue part, blue chromosome 1 is now mixing with mother's yellow chromosome 2 and here mother's yellow chromosome 1 is mixing with father yellow chromosome 2. And during Meiosis even two, you'll also get four, one, two, three, four. So draw a line here. Separation of sister chromatid. There you go. So blue with yellow blue with yellow for second one yellow with blue Yellow root blue. So that is what is the outcome for independent assortment. So now here you are seeing that each gamete, none of this gamete is exactly what was in the parent. Now father is mixed with mother, right? So in independent assortment, it is said that the segregation of homologous chromosome. 
so this is was homologous segregation so segregation of homologous chromosome is independent so it can separate it independently so it, it it's, it's mean that it's not important to segregate father chromosome separately and mother chromosome separately other chromosome and mother chromosome may mix up and that's why it's called independent so for independent assortment the outcome includes the outcome of first uh, first law of segregation and this new recombination so when you say independent assortment consider these two outcome i mean the first outcome and this now second outcome So what can we draw is calculation for independent assortment. For independent assortment, 50% of chance of getting new population, I mean mixed population and 50% getting of chance parental population. Where 25% from father and 25% from mother and the rest of the 50% is mixed of population. And that is what independent assortment. Thank you.